Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about another preview feature. And this again has something to do with the Dynamics 365 integration with Microsoft Teams. With this functionality, we're going to be able to view and update and add records to an existing Dynamics 365 record directly from within the context of a Microsoft Teams meeting. So if you want to find out how to configure everything and what it looks like when you have configured this functionality, take a look. Okay, so how exactly does this work? So every time when a user creates an appointment with a Microsoft Teams meeting in Dynamics 365, and the regarding field is populated either with a contact opportunity, lead, account, or case record in Dynamics 365, the details of that record will then automatically get added to the Microsoft Teams meeting. So let me show you, I'm going to actually create an appointment here and I'm going to add Teresa testing, who is an internal person. It's an employee here. Again, this is going to be a teams meeting. I'm going to say, this is a meeting, set the time to 6 PM. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. And now my teams meeting is being created. Now, obviously I can join this team meeting from Outlook, from Teams, or I can go here and open this appointment directly from within Dynamics 365 and I can click on join Teams meeting. Now you can see here that my regarding field is populated with the opportunity that I just had open. So I'm going to go ahead and join my Teams meeting. I'm going to open Microsoft Teams here and I'm going to join my meeting and I'm just going to wait for some other folks to join as well. And here we see that Teresa testing has joined my meeting as well. So what you'll notice here on the top is that I now have a Dynamics 365 button over here that is now pulling in that opportunity record that you saw earlier that this meeting is related to. So obviously any folks that are outside of this organization will not be able to view this Dynamics 365 side pane. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting is that I can update the record from here. You can see some of these fields are editable. I just have to click here on edit and that allows me to change the the values in those fields. You can also see that you have the ability to look at the timeline notes. I can create a new note as well, if that's something that I wanted to do. And I can create tasks for that and I can see the activity here. But you can also see that I have my primary contact here. So if I wanted to drill into that and get some additional information about Robert as we're talking to him, you're going to be able to pop that out or review that I should say in here as well. You can see here's a button that allows you to directly navigate to Robert's form in Dynamics 365. That's what this would actually do. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that you probably noticed that this form looks a little bit different from the regular, from the main form, right? So could you modify that form? Well, actually Microsoft told me that in this initial preview, they're actually using the in context form. So those are actually the same forms that are currently used in the deal manager workspace. And I actually wrote an article and did a video on how you can configure these forms. Yes, they are configurable, but there are some limitations here. So I definitely recommend that you check out uh, that video and that article as well. So the other thing I wanted to mention as well 
is that if you start a meeting that does not have a Dynamics 365 uh, form, or I should say it's not regarding to a Dynamics 365 record, is that you can also uh, use this to open another record. So for example, if I'm going to remove this, I'm going to remove this. So let's say, right, you, you don't have that regarding field set. So what you could do here is you can just add that app, which is Dynamics V65. And let's say um, you're going to look for that contact, right, Robert. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that. And here he is. I'm going to click Save. And look at that. Now I have the contact rec record for Robert that I just added here to Microsoft Teams. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you here is, oh, I actually cannot show you that here, <laughs> but let me mention that, is that other folks now, when they click here on Dynamics 365, they will see the same record pop up in Microsoft Teams. So that's kind of how you can share that. Now let's take a look of how we can actually turn this on from within the application. So I'm going to navigate here to app settings and then below chat and collaboration, you see here teams meetings. So when you click on that, here is that button where you can enable that. But again, for this to work, as you can see, you also need to turn on the service site sync settings to sync your calendars, right? As you can see over here. And then of course, in order to create meetings from Dynamics 365, you need to turn on the ability to add and join Teams meetings directly from within Dynamics 365. And you can do that by going to the Power Platform Admin Center, and then you can go to Products and then Feature, and then turn that feature on. So let me show you that as well. So here we are in the Power Platform Admin Center. I'm gonna click here on Settings. And then I'm gonna expand Product. And I'm gonna click on Features. And let me see here. So this is where you can turn that on, right? End users can add and join Teams meeting from appointments. This is where you can turn that on inside of the Power Platform admin center. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoy the content, then don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.